Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Mark Bonto. Uh, this is um, tough to get the United for Flint. And my co-host, Deanna Avery. Hello, Welcome. everyone. Hello, everyone. We're here to tell you what they don't want you to know about. And there's a lot to tell, too. So in this show and, and every show that we do, Tough, we're going to be tough with the... Um, with all the uh, problems and the situations and all this, everything's going on. Um, and unlike my comedy show, um, well, it's kind of a comedy show within itself. <laughs> yes, everything it the government's doing around. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. <laughs> well, we can start, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff to talk about for Flint and everything like that. But I was, uh, you know, I was gonna start off by saying something a little personal as far as our situation. Um, I don't know if the viewers really care to hear about it, but it is something that's going on in Flint, um, and it's a, something that can happen to anybody. So I guess this is very important. Yeah, it's very important, because um, who knows who else it happened to. Right, it could happen to anybody. Right. So, um, <coughs> let's see. Um, so what happened was we paid on a parcel that you, you own, yes. and a uh, property, and so we paid, and when you, we sent the payment, uh, it was with the wrong parcel number. Now we'll leave out the fact that the they sent us a statement to pay the bill with, with the wrong parcel number, it wasn't with our number. Correct, yeah, yes. Was, right, <laughs> so we'll leave that out for now, because I don't really think that's the point. I don't think that's the point. I think the point is the fact that uh, we paid on the wrong parcel number and they won't fix it. The city of Flint, which, I mean, it's really the county treasurer, but they're, they're trying to mince words here. Oh, it's the county. Oh, it's the city. They're trying to confuse everyone. That's what it's, what they're doing. Right, right, right. And, they're scamming and, the people of Flint. They always do. They always, and think They've about been it. doing it for years. Right, right. And they this we could have opened a whole can of worms with this, where you brought this up. Yeah. Where maybe they've been doing it, you know, to people, and then they don't even know about it. They wouldn't know if they didn't overpay. Right, right. <laughs> Who's going to overpay in Flint? Yeah, Come point. on. I mean, really. <laughs> Who's going to pay in Flint? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was we paid on the wrong uh, parcel. The county treasurer, who they always want to they always want to stress the fact that they're county treasurer. Well, listen, it's the city of Flint who's paying the taxes. You're doing it for the city of Flint. You're housed in the, in city, the city, city of Flint. Flint. Everything's the city of Flint. So don't give me this, oh, it's a county treasurer. No. You're, you do it for the city, you're, you know, maybe you get paid by county uh, funds, maybe that's why uh, you're so stressing on the county, but it, it's for the city, so I'm just saying city of Flint. So, they applied it to the wrong part. So another property got 1755 that's 1755 of our dollars. Correct, yeah. For their tax property, for their tax uh, property, and we still owe the 1755 because we put it on the wrong part. Um, but the, again, the caveat is they sent us the wrong parcel number, which is where we're at right now. But, but the, the treasurer won't do anything about it. Yeah, she wants us to take them to court. Deb Cherry. Yeah. Deb Cherry wants us oh, to take the treasurer She's to court. She's too lazy to even look at the form to see if it was correct or not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. You know, it's. <laughs> She was being arrogant and big-headed, and she's like, oh, well, just let them take the court. So for clarification, I got, I got clarification for you, Deb Jerry. Uh, clarification is we don't want a refund. She's like, well, here's the thing. Here's, I'll give you a clarification for the refund. We don't want a refund. No. We don't want a refund. Refund is funding something that was originally funded and, and refunding it. We were funded. We don't want a refund. We don't want the funds back. We want the funds allocated to the right thing. Ooh, this gets us worked up and tough. <laughs> This is why we're tough. Point it. Point it. There you go. No, it's like that. <laughs> she's all over the place. But she's got a really strong stance. So come on, get tough about this. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm mad about it. Tell them. Tell them. I mean, what are they? What are they doing to the people of Flint? They're right. screwing with them with the high water rates and taking their homes away. A lot of people don't have money in Flint. And you lost money. Uh, you lost a lot of sleep. In oh, yeah. I lost a lot of sleep. Time and suffering or pain and suffering. Yeah, I did. They, they, they made me mad. They made me angry. Well, who wouldn't be? They're trying to steal $1,700 from you. Yeah, I know. And they're still trying to do it. I mean, we don't have that to just, you know. Well, I think they got 
got a scandal on, actually. So what do you think? What do you think they're doing? And this I is very, think uh, very that they are doing this randomly, switching people's stuff around, and then who's going to know about it? Right. I mean, they're not going to overpay or anything, so... So the homeowner won't know about it, but won't they get delinquent message uh, letters? Yeah, if they send it out on time. Right. Or if they send it out at all. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is something that really could be happening. Uh, this could They could be taking your tax dollars uh, for property taxes, if you pay property taxes separately from your mortgage payment, which a lot of people do. And so they, they could be taking your, your property taxes, and they could be... Uh, allocating them to somebody else, you'll never know, especially if they're playing dirty down there and they don't tell you. Um, I think that them and the land them. bank are working together with this. I think they're doing something really fishy. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Uh, you, you think they're taking our funds, our yeah. taxes, and yeah. just not applying them? Yeah, and then taking your house, people's houses away. Right. Yeah. And that's another reason why you lost sleep. You thought they were going to take the house away, and uh, this was no funny business. This no. was serious business. This was... Really, you know, uh, they're stealing lucky. our money. That's they're, what they're, lucky. they're lucky I didn't go down there because they right. probably would have hauled me off to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did uh, three uh, news interviews, uh, a million calls. I can't tell you how much time away from work it took It took away for me. So really, uh, there's a lot of pain and suffering. There's a lot of uh, wages lost in trying to just deal with the situation. That's the treasurer's fault to begin with. Right. I mean, I want everybody out there to call this the county treasurer. Do not. I can I can say whatever I want. Can I, John? Within reason. <laughs> well, it's very reasonable for me to say that I would never vote Deb Cherry, knowing what I know about her now. I thought I actually thought at a time. How lazy can you be? Unbelievable. Oh my God, she doesn't really? want to help. She doesn't want to help. <laughs> her. Oh, oh! You guys made the mistake. Well, take another look, Chico, because you you're the one that made the mistake. They put the wrong parcel number on the on the thing for us to, to pay to. I mean, who knows the? Do you, does anybody out there know their parcel number by heart? You know your parcel number by heart? No. Do, do you know your parcel number by heart? Your I mean, come on. I, I didn't even know what parcel number was, and you know, I thought it was a snack. Um, <laughs> snack. Did you have with mustard and I don't know. What it was. But, uh, and then you have a lot number. Uh, people don't know their lot numbers or the name of their division. Which I mean, there's a whole bunch of municipal city terms. Yeah, and then do. when you go to their website, oh my gosh, and they try to confuse people. Right. You right. can't even get to the thing you want to see. You, you got to go through all these different hoops. Yeah. And, yeah. you know. Yeah, and they do that on purpose. I think they do that on purpose just to confuse people. And so they'll just kind of bow down, but we're we're wanting to find out. We but I've got a perfect record suing the city of Flint three times for um, sewage backup, which they claim they weren't at fault. Well, we took them to court three times. We won against the city of Flint. Now the water crisis. Deanna and I were the one of the first period to get involved with the water crisis. One of the first. Yeah. We're gonna have uh, in the, probably the next show. Um, we're gonna have uh, Carrie Weber, who is also. Uh, there, right from the beginning, along with uh, uh, Leanne Walters, um, right from the very, very beginning, um, and uh, and we obviously exposed the city of Flint on something that, at the time, you know, nobody, you know, they, it's like right now, it's like oh, it's this county treasurer thing. Well, no, I don't know when this is going to air, but note note the date that uh, <laughs> this is going to be a big thing. Yeah, you know, it is going to be a big thing. So uh, that's something I would never, and she, I, I was starting to say, I thought there was a time when I when we started this whole thing about the property tax thing that I really, really thought, how na naive am I, that Deb Cherry would be on our side. I, I did. Yeah. I, I, I was stupid enough to think. I know, I, that's what I thought too. Yeah. I thought, well, oh, she's got to be a nice person. Right. Ah, typical <laughs> Flint. Right. A typical government. Right. Typical local, why well, did you know, I, I thought she was in Lansing. For, I don't know why I thought that, but um, she's not. She's in Flint. She's the head of the Treasury in Flint, whatever that, that means. Yeah. It means, that, means <laughs> it that, means she, that you can screw people and get away with yeah, it. Yeah. It means, <laughs> it means that she's ahead of a negative balance uh, fund. <laughs> but, um, she, but yeah, I mean, it, I thought she would be on our side. I thought she would, like, be more open to listening to it. I mean, there was people down at the Treasurer's office who were horrible that listened more than Deb Cherry. Now Deb Cherry says, well, here's a tax law about, uh, property tax law about uh, refunds. <laughs> I mean, we've been talking about this for 12 minutes now, and like I say, we can go on forever. 
and we have a lot of stuff to cover, but um, that just is kind of it's a personal thing for us. Yeah, very personal. Yeah. Yeah. And we need that money. Yeah. I mean, you, you, we could buy new furniture with that money. <laughs> <laughs> we need that money. I mean, the seventy hundred fifty five dollars is nothing to shake a stick at. I was, you know, I was. It, what if they did this to some right. little old lady that didn't didn't or, have anything? Or most of Flint. Most of Flint don't. I mean, they're not working. I mean, a lot. I say most of Flint, but a lot of people are working don't have the the, uh, the funds to uh, um, don't have the uh, the, fun, the the money to pay to pay near that. I mean, we no, don't. And then, we don't. We both got good jobs, great jobs, and we uh, we don't have the money to pay that. Right. And people on fixed incomes? Fixed incomes? They'd be lost. Right. Yeah. Oh, and I man. think that's the purpose behind this whole thing. Yeah. Is to kick everybody out that don't have any money. And the and uh, properties go to land bank? Is that what you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 They're going to... They're, they they could be in cahoots. They, they got plans for this town. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. And they're, they're, in, co- they're in cahoots. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the two could be... That's what you meant by yeah. working together. Okay. I get it now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the they're working bank. together with this. Oh, sure. Yeah. Land Bank will monopolize. They'll be like Pottersville. <laughs> it, it will be. It will be. <laughs> yeah. um, tell us about PFAS DM. Uh, those are chemicals that they're putting in different lakes, streams, rivers right. that cause cancer. Why are they putting them in there? Um, it's from factories. Oh. Uh, the factories that, uh, like GM, was right. right alongside the river. They were dumping all their crap into the river. And now they're finding out that it, it releases these these PFAs. And um, wow, wow, people are going to start getting sick. Wow. Not that they're not already already. Right. There's a lot of people on Flint that are very sick. So that's probably what happened with the like the part of the water is that uh, the stuff seeps into... It seeps into the ground, into the soil, and it just lurks there, and then when it rains, it just kind of... So isn't that a lawsuit within itself? Should, how liable? Oh, yeah. The, the state is liable for that. Right. They're, they're the ones that allowed these companies to dump their crap in all of our lakes, rivers, and streams. And, you know, all the big lakes, I'm sure they got it, too. Right. Isn't there any kind of a over, um, uh, the, over, what's the word? Overage. Overage, yeah. <laughs> over, yeah, that, that's what the city of Flint did with, with my money. Right. They overaged in their pockets. No, isn't there any kind of a oversight, overseeing of, um, of, of this? Uh, yeah, know? the EPA is supposed to. Okay, so how come they didn't? How come they're not? And they're What's failing in their job. <laughs> like everybody else in, in, in the government. They're failing their job. Wow. 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 They're all out for the money of these corporations, and they don't care about the people's health. Tell us about Nestle. Nestle is another story. Tell us about Nestle. Nestle. And it's not the chocolate bar that we all (laughs) grew up eating. They're a corporation. They're a huge corporation that is buying up everything, including the water industry. Right. Now, back years ago, they were they were they were uh, siphoning um, water out of uh, one of the lakes, um, and uh, Jesse Ventura talked about it. And that was way before anybody even really knew anything about it. And now, they're making all kinds of money off of our lakes, our water. By doing what? By stealing it. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> for I, well, for pennies on the dollar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not even that. And they don't have any rights to it. No. You know. and, and Governor Snyder, that weasley little thing. Right, right. <laughs> Tell him. Tell I, him. I, he makes me mad. How do you feel about uh, Governor uh, Rick Snyder? You know, when I seen him for the first time, right. I'm like, there's something wrong with you. Right. And I was right. Yeah. Sure enough, you find out what happens. Him yeah. and the emergency managers and everybody else killed the people of Flint with this whole water thing, which didn't make sense to begin with. I know, and they knew about it. Oh, they, they did. They knew about it. But they just... But they're just, hiding it, and yep. it. But it's little by little, it's coming coming out, but yep. they knew all about it. Yep. And they covered it up. And this is this is why 
I like to make the analogy between that and, and this whole treasurer's office thing. I think Deb Terry is the next uh, Rick Snyder. I do. <laughs> she is. She's the next Rick Snyder. Oh, boy. She, she's got that. Well, I don't mean she shaves like him. I just mean that she's got that position, uh, in the governmental position, uh, that she oversees uh, this entity. And uh, she's obviously not for the taxpayer. No, I'm She didn't do anything not. for us. She didn't do anything for us. I don't think any of those people downtown are for for the people. Actually, I think no. I think they're for their own pockets. Yeah, they are. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, that's that's terrible. That's too bad. That's crazy. What else? What else? We don't have. Well, you know these PFAs. You can't get rid of them. So you can't filter them out. They don't know. They don't know how to get rid of them. So people just have to drink. drink. They're drinking it in their water and their well water. And, and you know a tap is there a way to detect it you have to send it off to a lab so every time you take a drink of water you have to send it off to a lab and well no but you technically i don't think a filter will even filter it out right oh it's like what bob bocock said about the um the uh httms right what 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 tthms what did i say <laughs> The TTHMs. I, I know the whole word, but the TTHMs, because that those are, you know, the chemicals that once, you know, um, the process goes through, you know, the, the watering system. And you, you can't. And it gives you off can't, the vapor. Right. And, and you which, can't the, really which, which they were saying, oh, it's okay to shower. Right. No. Wrong again. Yeah. yeah. You breathe it in. Yeah. It goes through your skin. Yep. Yeah. And then you get poisoned uh, with the with the uh, you know. And the that fumes causes the cancer air. too. Right. Yeah. Right. And all because they the TTHMs. So they can't. They didn't. You know, do the right thing down at the the plant. Well, they didn't know what they were doing to begin with. Is from what I understand. Wow. Wow. Time really flies when when we're talking, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine at home what we do? Right. All right. All right. So um, what else? What else you got? Because there's a um, hundred things to talk about. I know. Let's see. What can Anything we... Anything else on here? No? No. No? That was all uh, PF, <laughs> PFAs? Wow. <laughs> Did you, you didn't get to m much of it. Well, tell me. What, well, let's, what, we can talk about the roads. The roads. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the roads the in roads. Genesee County, City of Flint. Tough. Together United for Flint. We're together. We want to be together. We want everything to happen together. But City of Flint ain't working with us. No, they're not. So what was our ride like on the way over here? Okay, well, you ride down the road, and about every 15 yards, you run into this pothole filled with loose gravel. Right. Can now, you imagine what it does to your car? Uh, kill they them. don't care. Right. This They're paying these guys big money. Right. To do what? Yeah. A yeah. second grader could have done that. <laughs> no, a second grader does better work than that. You can lose, you can lose a um, small child in one of those ones. <laughs> really, yeah. now, in your job, though, you do t uh, some transporting every so yes, often. Yes, I do transporting. Then you go in the north end of Flint. Yes. And, and that, that's really what you're referring to. Yes. It's I mean, there was a very, bad all over. very bad. It's, you know, same thing. Every couple hundred yards, you run into this big gouge in the road. I mean, if you're going to fix something, do it right, so please. It's from, it's from the uh, water uh, The water lines water that lines. they changed. Right. And I, if I was one of the citizens in that t in that area, uh -huh. I'd be bitching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because, but apparently, because maybe, that, maybe some of these people don't have cars. I don't know. Well, uh, even though, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even though, I mean, you could be walking, uh, you know, in the, the north end or the east side or anywhere in Flint. And fall, I mean, because they're replacing the lines everywhere. Except they haven't come to our part of town yet, but um, have they? That'll be five years from now. Five years from now. <laughs> they haven't replaced our pipes in, in our in our where we live in Flint, but um, over where the property we're talking about, you know, the parcel that we paid on that we didn't pay on. <laughs> yeah. That one. Um, they've had their lines replaced. Yes. And that's in and this, it's a mess. Yeah. They've done a very bad job that's in the south uh part of the town south end yeah south end of town mm -hmm. so um yeah so anyways um yeah the roads are bad so what are our, what are our taxes what are our city taxes going to what are our city taxes going to where is all the money going to actually that's what i'd like to know 
<laughs> well, what is your theory? Um, well, we, you know, we get all that money from all these different people. For the water crisis. For the water crisis. Where did it go? Right. Where, where did it go? I don't see any improvements for the people at all. Right. Right. So what is the city's answer to that? Oh, they're doing development. Development. Mm -hmm. Meaning that they're taking the funds and they're screwing up our roads. What is development? Uh, making these big buildings downtown. Oh, I making see. it look really, you know, trying to make Flint look really nice. Right, right. To draw other people in. But, hello, fix the problem first. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. who wants to come to a poison town? Really? Yeah, well, with beautiful buildings. Yeah. <laughs> with on. beautiful new buildings, um, drink the water. Come stay and, in our nice hotel. Yeah, yeah. Drink the water <laughs> and die in a beautiful, luxurious, newly developed uh, <laughs> building that Flint had just bought. <laughs> right. Um, I want to go to some of the... Uh, yeah, because you posted pictures here. Uh on Tough. Yeah. And you can go to our Facebook page, Tough, T O F F, uh, and, uh, you know, let us know what you feel, how you feel, it's, it, whether or not you're from this area, um, how you feel about all this stuff. If you disagree, let us know. Um, we'll kick you off. <laughs> if you agree, let us know. We'll keep you. Um, but, but whatever, however you feel, let us know. Come to Tough. Um, you have to be special because we have to accept you. But we will. We have a lot of special people. We have a lot of special people. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. We That's, love our We our love friends. our tough yeah. our tough people because they're all tough. Everybody's very opinionated. That's what we like. Now, on this show, allpointstv.com and on Comcast, um, a lot of these public access shows, people sit here and they talk about their opinions and they spout off, and they talk, but um, really, um, it's it's people like us, people in tough, people who, that we know. You know, people need to hear about the stuff that the news won't tell you about. See, the news in Flint, they just pick and choose what they want to cover. As we they found don't out. tell you the whole story. Yeah. As we so, found out for our, our situation. It, it, yeah. They, they interviewed me uh, and they did all these, and us uh, one time, and they chopped the pieces and it, it does come out a little biased. Uh, yeah, you know? they tried to make us look dumb. Yeah, yeah. And they tried to make the, in this case, they tried to make the government look um, like they were in the right. And I'm not sure why, you know, news always, they always put themselves as, but uh, to be honest, the, uh, Channel Five in this area or in Saginaw, they were great. Yeah, they, they were, were awesome. great. Very fair. Uh, gave us all the chances in the world. Whereas yeah. some of them were not. I mean, some were reached out to uh, Dave Bondi. Dave Bondi. Yeah. Um, I can say that name because I, my name is Bonto. So I guess we, <laughs> we have a bond kinship. And uh, he was horrible. He did. He read every one of my messages. Didn't want to help. Um, uh, that channel. Nobody responded. No. And no. Um, some, some gal from TV5 oh, yeah. messaged me and said, you know, hey, I seen your post. Yeah. And yeah. that's where and, it went. And, and I got bombarded with all the Channel 5 uh, producers. and So they were great. They were great. So we do have some news people that uh, are honestly, uh, you know, but even, even like in that report, like I said, the, the final version of the last one, it looked a little bad, but I'd, I'd like to get an apology from, from yeah, the Yeah, she needs to apologize. Yeah, 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 saying that they can take it to court for clarification, but uh, Deb Jerry, uh, we don't need clarification on what a refund is. In fact, I think we need to tell you what refund means um, and kind of dissect the word, Deb, before <laughs> you uh, tell us anything about going to court and to give us clarification. I think I can run a little bit of circles around, uh, around your person. Um, yeah, and double check your work next time. Yeah, absolutely. Before you, uh, you know, tell the news media something that's uh, incredibly uh, one-sided. Do your homework, you yeah. know. Before, you know, and uh, <laughs> and and take my calls. Take uh, take the little guys, and you know, and have your people who work for you. Now we're right back to where we talked about half an hour ago. But I mean, I can't get off of this. I, I, go <laughs> I know we've been dealing with it.
We got just like one minute left. We have this show has gone by really quick. Um, oh, we have five minutes left. Okay, all right. Well, we have five minutes left. Um, well, I'm glad he said that. I thought he was. I thought he was waving to me. <laughs> John's very opinionated. He's our. Uh, he's our director. The great guy for uh, All Points TV, and uh, uh, he's uh, he's very opinionated himself. <laughs> um, so um, uh, maybe we'll have him on the show. Yeah. yeah. We well, don't have him on the show, uh, hey. boy. And when he <laughs> talks, you got to plug your ears. But that's what Tough is all about. Tough is all about, uh, you know. Uh, to, I mean, the, the acronym is Together United for Flint. I see some back there making coffee. Do I know him? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it, he looks familiar. He looks familiar. <laughs> um, but uh, we are Together United for Flint. But th but that's the whole thing. We want to be tough. We about, want everybody to work together. Yeah. Yeah. It's true, we do. And oh, there's a lot of caddy people in this town. Yeah. I mean, come on. And there's too many people, especially with the water crisis, that when that everybody wants their own group. They yeah. want their own group. That's what Tough is supposed to be. Tough is supposed to be the one group where everybody comes together, you know. Uh, oh, we got somebody on the line, do we? No, I want to say something here. Oh, okay, yes, yes. okay, yeah, it's like, yeah, see, Flint's, Flint's a land of opportunity. When they have a horrific thing coming, you got all these opportunists come forward to try to monopolize it, capitalize it on their own. They were like, they'll start a nonprofit. They'll get it all this started with like, these great, you know, these great concerns that they're saying they're behind. Right. And then it falls by the wayside. And then after the smoke clears, somebody's saying, where'd that money go? You know, just yeah, like absolutely. we're saying now about the water crisis, where's that money going? Yeah. They uh, constantly do this. They do it every time. Absolutely. It's a consistent, that's, consistent that's, pattern. And that's not, it. now, did they hear you say that? Yeah, did, yeah. They, they did hear say that, yeah. What he said, it, it, it's not an exaggeration. It is so right and true. I mean, I'm really glad he chimed in, chimed in and said that because um, it seems like something that um, you can only make up or something that only happens in either the dark ages or in, or another place, but that's true. People are actually doing this. It's like, really? You, you know, the best thing I can say, if you want to see a kind of a sample, you know, what Flint's like, watch the old TV series, Dukes of Hazards. You had Boss Hog. Basically, you have people a lot like Boss Hog running uh -huh. the show here. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, They don't yeah. dress in the tacky white suit and all that after Labor oh, Day yeah, and all that. The but they're suit. just a yeah. lot like the that. Easter suit. Yeah, the Easter suit. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's, that's, that's another great analogy. Um, that is a great analogy. That's very true. Um, uh, wow, crazy. All right, well, I'm taking my headphones off now. Um, <laughs> thank you, John. That was awesome. And please chime in like that anytime. I mean it. That was. I, I, I couldn't have. Uh, I, I'm glad he said that because people, me, I, I will admit, I, I, I'm pretty up to date. But I would be naive in thinking people related to this. I, I, I wouldn't think that. But people they're doing would. it right under our nose, including and pe and, and you know. Some of the people don't even see it. That's the problem. Right, right. I mean, people are kind of lurching onto these suckers. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's true. <laughs> and and right. making money off. Of them. Okay, well, we got we to gotta wrap it up, but um, we appreciate everybody watching. Tough. We're here. Um, let's see. Well, it'd be uh, Thursday and Friday nights at 8 o'clock. So um, along with um, the great, great, Hilarious comedic uh, Mark Bonto, uh, the comedian, uh, who is just—he's got to be the funniest guy <laughs> ever. He is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but we, we, we're kind of commingling with the show, so this is great. We listen to me, like I'm. <laughs> I, I've, I've got You're my alter ego. You got an entity inside. All right, thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> Tune in to Tough and uh, come to our Facebook page and AllPointsTV.com. Uh, 1025 is their number, uh, and Comcast as well. All right, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Ciao. 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 <laughs>